Is it becoming less and less likely of a comet here in your eyes? For now, I, I rank it four on, on the scale that I define that is called the Loeb scale, where zero is a natural object and 10 is a technological object. The universe just sent us another mystery, but this one is glowing. The Interstellar Object 3 I Atlas is baffling scientists. It's producing a light so intense and so strange that it breaks the rules for comets. Harvard's Avi Loeb, never one to shy from controversy, has put his reputation on the line, claiming this light is artificial. This isn't just a theory, it's a hypothesis based on data from the Hubble telescope. Now, until recently, we haven't seen dust being pushed back behind the object. And so uh, one had to conclude that perhaps we are seeing a giant object. The object is small, impossibly bright, and on a trajectory that seems too perfect to be a coincidence. We are witnessing something unprecedented. A light that defies logic. In the vast, silent emptiness of space, Scientists expect things to follow certain rules. Comets, those icy wanderers, are supposed to act in a predictable way. They fly in, they get warmed by the sun, they sprout a tail of gas and dust, and they reflect a certain amount of light. But not all things are what they seem. A few years ago, an object designated 3I Atlas tumbled into our solar system from the interstellar deep, and it didn't just break the rules, it shattered them. At first, Astronomers logged it as just the third interstellar visitor ever detected, a fascinating but understandable event. Then, they pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at it. What came back was an impossibility. The object was shining nearly 200 times brighter than 2I Borisov, the last interstellar comet we saw, even though it was at a similar distance. That kind of brightness is a huge red flag. For a comet to be that brilliant just by reflecting sunlight, it would have to be absolutely enormous. We're talking tens of kilometers, almost 12 miles across. An object that big is supposed to be a once in tens of thousands of years visitor. The odds of one showing up now were astronomically low, but the size wasn't even the weirdest part. The thing nobody tells you is that the quality of the light was all wrong. Instead of a classic streaming tail trailing behind it, Hubble images revealed a tight, compact glow gathered in front of the object, facing the sun. This is where the story goes from a scientific curiosity to a world-changing revelation. A team of scientists analyzed how the brightness faded with distance from the object's core. For normal comets, the dust cloud scatters sunlight in a predictable way. But for 3 I Atlas, the light dropped off dramatically fast with a mathematical slope of negative four. This isn't a number you find in nature for reflected light. It's the signature of a light source that is self-contained, a glow coming from a central point within the object itself. This is when Harvard scientist Avi Loeb and his colleague Eric Kido dropped a bombshell on the scientific community. They proposed a radical new hypothesis. What if the light wasn't reflected at all? What if it was artificial? They argued that the steep brightness profile was a perfect fit for a scenario where dust surrounding 3I Atlas was being illuminated from within. If the object was self-lit, it didn't need to be a 12-mile wide monster. It could be tiny, less than a football field wide, and still produce the incredible glow that Hubble saw. But to do that, it would need a phenomenal amount of power. Around 10 gigawatts, the equivalent energy output of 10 nuclear reactors converted into pure light. The first sign of something artificial wasn't a radio signal. It was a phantom light in the void. What could possibly power such a tiny object to shine so bright? No gas, no dust, no dice. Many people are crazy about finding simple explanations, and the scientific community is no different. Faced with Loeb's extraordinary claim, astronomers immediately went to work trying to prove him wrong. The most obvious answer was a massive, unseen cloud of dust. Perhaps the object had violently shed a huge plume of material, creating a giant, reflective surface. It's a good theory, but it comes with a major catch. A dust cloud that big, energized by the sun, should also show clear signs of gas streaming away from it, vaporized ices like water or carbon monoxide. But when they looked, there was nothing. 
Careful spectrograph studies found no trace of gas. A massive dust plume without any vapor just doesn't line up with the laws of physics. The next logical step was to reconsider the size. Maybe it really was a 12-mile-wide behemoth, a true cosmic monster. But again, the math just didn't work. The chances of such a massive object entering our solar system are incredibly slim. We should see smaller interstellar objects far more frequently, but a giant like that is a statistical nightmare. It would be like finding a blue whale in your swimming pool. It's not just unlikely, it's a sign that your understanding of reality is flawed. So the natural comet theory, whether big or small, was hitting a dead end. Scientists, however, are a creative bunch. They started exploring more exotic, out-of-the-box natural possibilities. Could the object be lighting up from friction? Perhaps it was hitting a thick patch of interplanetary dust, creating a fiery glow. This idea was dismissed almost immediately. The space where 3 I Atlas is traveling is a near-perfect vacuum, far too thin to cause any significant friction or heating. The next wild idea was a primordial black hole. These are hypothetical, microscopic black holes left over from the Big Bang. If one passed through a dust cloud, it could theoretically generate light. But the numbers didn't add up. The power output would be in nanowatts, a billion times weaker than the gigawatts needed to explain the glow. The last desperate hope for a natural cause was radioactive debris. What if 3i Atlas was a fragment of a planet that had been torn apart by a dying star? Such a fragment could be rich in radioactive elements, glowing from decay. But for this to work, the fragment would have to be almost pure, concentrated radioactive material, a so-called radioactive bomb. The probability of such an object forming, surviving its journey through interstellar space, and then being spotted by us is practically zero. Every natural explanation they threw at the problem failed. One by one, the conventional theories were ruled out, leaving only Loeb's unsettling hypothesis standing. With every natural door closed, only one unbelievable door remains open. A path of intent. The thing is, when you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. And the improbabilities surrounding 3i Atlas don't stop with its light. Its journey through our solar system is just as strange. Most interstellar objects should come in at random, chaotic angles. But 3i Atlas is different. Its trajectory is almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat, disk-like region where all the planets in our solar system orbit. It's like a car merging onto a highway and immediately falling into perfect sync with the flow of traffic. It's a one in a hundred coincidence that makes you wonder if it's a coincidence at all. But the path gets even stranger. The object's trajectory appears to be fine-tuned for a tour of our solar system, with close passes to Mars and Jupiter. And here is the ultimate twist, the detail that feels like it's straight out of a movie script. When 3 I Atlas reaches its closest point to Earth, the point where we could get our best look with our most powerful ground-based telescopes, the sun will be directly in the way. For that crucial window of time, it will be completely blocked from view, hidden by the glare of our own star. Is this just another incredible coincidence, or is it a deliberate cosmic blind spot? For those who lean towards Loeb's theory, this feels like a calculated move, a way to observe without being too closely observed. So what does this all mean for us, the people looking up and wondering what's out there? Are we watching a random piece of space rock perform a one-in-a-billion cosmic circus act? Or are we missing a key detail? The truth is, we are on the verge of finding out. On October 3, 2025, 3i Atlas is scheduled to fly past Mars. Waiting for it is NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, armed with a high-rise camera, one of the most powerful telescopic lenses ever sent to space. It has the ability to take a picture so clear it could potentially see the object's core. We might finally see if there's a nucleus, or just a strange, inexplicable glow. Later, NASA's Juno spacecraft, orbiting Jupiter, might also get a look. This is a moment of truth. We are living in a time where a genuine, scientifically observed mystery from another star system is unfolding right before our eyes. All this isn't happening in some distant galaxy or in the far future. 
it's happening in our own neighborhood, right now. Whether Three-Eye Atlas is a bizarre natural phenomenon that will rewrite our physics books, or the first confirmed piece of extraterrestrial technology, we are about to get a much closer look. The question is, are we ready for the answer? But the probe theory might be the least wild explanation. A piece of a megastructure. Let's just wonder for a moment. If this thing isn't a comet, and it's not a simple probe, what else could it be? This is where we step beyond established science and into the realm of truly mind-bending speculation. One of the most shocking things to consider is that 3 i Atlas may not be a complete object at all. It might be a broken piece of something far, far larger. Advanced civilizations, in theory, could build what are known as Dyson Swarms, or spheres. These are gigantic megastructures built around a star to capture all of its energy. What if the object we're seeing is just a single, damaged solar panel from one of these structures, still glowing with residual power as it tumbles through space? It would be like finding a single glowing brick and having to imagine the entire city it came from. Then there's an even more bizarre idea. What if it's not a piece of technology, but a piece of biology? Some theorists have proposed the idea of interstellar cedars. These would be automated craft designed to spread the building blocks of life throughout the galaxy. The light wouldn't be for propulsion or observation, but part of a terraforming process or a way to protect its precious cargo. It sounds like fiction, but the universe is a very strange place. Another possibility is that we are looking at a cosmic ghost ship. Maybe 3 I Atlas is a derelict vessel, the remnant of a ship that suffered a catastrophe millions of years ago, its power core still burning feebly as it drifts through the void. We aren't detecting a message, we're witnessing the final moments of an ancient tragedy. The wild theories don't stop there. What if the object isn't the machine, but the fuel? Imagine a civilization so advanced that they can create and transport contained energy sources, like interstellar batteries. Perhaps what we are seeing is a damaged power plant, leaking pure energy into the void. This would explain the immense power output from such a small object. It's not a ship. It's a cosmic power line that has snapped. Or perhaps it serves as a piece of galactic infrastructure, just as we have buoys marking shipping lanes in our oceans, maybe advanced races have placed similar markers throughout the galaxy to navigate interstellar travel. 3 I Atlas could be a glowing cosmic lighthouse, a beacon that was knocked from its post and is now drifting through our system. Each of these theories is a wild leap, but the data is so strange that it forces us to take those leaps. The simple answer is that it's a weird comet. But the more you look at the evidence, the more that simple answer seems like the least likely one of all. These wild ideas have been primed in our minds for decades. What people don't notice is that this whole idea of an artificial light announcing an alien presence has been a part of our culture for decades. Long before Avi Loeb pointed his telescope at a strange glow, Hollywood was using light as the ultimate signal of the otherworldly. For generations, storytellers have understood a fundamental truth. When they arrive, they will arrive with light. Think about one of the most famous first contact movies ever made, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. The entire film is a build-up to a symphony of light and sound. The alien mothership doesn't send a radio message. It communicates with a dazzling, beautiful light show that is both awesome and a little bit frightening. This theme is everywhere. In E.T., the extraterrestrial, the most iconic images are of E.T.'s glowing finger and his glowing heart, a magical light that represents healing and connection. The spaceship that comes to rescue him isn't a silent, dark object. It's a radiant vessel that lights up the entire forest. The light is a symbol of hope and wonder, but light can also be a symbol of immense power and danger. In Independence Day, the arrival of the aliens is marked by city-sized ships that block out the sun casting the world into shadow. The universe is full of secrets. Are we simply seeing a new kind of comet? Or is this the proof we've been waiting for? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.